We back, we back, we back. Another video talking about uh, you know, K2 and Golden Boy. Um, K2 representing Gennady Golovkin, Triple G. Uh, Golden Boy obviously uh, representing Saul Canelo Alvarez. And they're uh, engaging in negotiations to make it happen again for a media rematch potentially in May. Um, and, you know, personally, I told you guys I didn't want to see a media rematch. Um, but knowing that Canelo's not going to fight anybody of significance, and if he is, it's going to uh, hurt Triple G, and I explain that in one second. Um, you know, I wouldn't mind it. I would definitely uh, watch it again. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to sit here and lie, so I definitely want to watch it again. Like Skip Baylor said, it didn't uh, live up to his expectations. And uh, somebody said uh, he obviously wants somebody to die in the ring. And, of course, it didn't live up to expectations. Most major fights don't. In a way, Oscar built this to be a rock and sock and robot type of fight. It wasn't going to live up to it. But, um, you know, we, we in the boxing clinic. We in the building. You know, it's your boy CJ Goodfella, if I didn't already say it. But, um, you know, for my expectations, it didn't. But the expectations was extremely high, and it was a great, great fight. So, most people expected knockdown, knockout. Uh, it didn't happen. Um, and I'll give my two cents on how I think a rematch will go in a second. But, um, you know, I have three weeks to negotiate a rematch, uh, via the Canelo Alvarez clause that's in his favor. Triple G didn't have a clause at all. He was definitely the C side in this situation, not even the B side. He got fucked raw. Um, and Canelo's manager comes out and says he don't think an immediate rematch is going to happen. So let's go with that scenario first. And I'll talk about the rematch and all the other stuff. If it doesn't happen, um... You know, Canelo is probably going to try to get Billy Joe Saunders in the ring um, next and cut that pipeline off to Triple G. Uh, if he does that, he's probably going to force Triple G to have to, um, you know, go somewhere else. And, you know, one of the logical uh, ones to go would be Chrissy Banks Jr., but he's locked into a tournament. Um, and I don't know if Triple G wants to come up and go back down. If that's the case scenario, um there's really nobody to fight at once again. Everybody tied up in that tournament. The Rails don't want none. James DeGale come back from an injury. Badu Jack then moved up. So he can take the winner of uh, Ramirez and Jesse Hart if he wants to. And if it's Ramirez, it probably makes sense. But he's not that big a star anyway. So if the WBC grows some balls and stop being the fighter's best friend, um, they should force him to fight Jamal Charlo. And somebody came, American boxing fan, whatever his name is. I, I'm sorry if I butchered your name. He said, why are people obsessed with Charlo and Jacobs? Because people seen what Jacobs did to, uh, to, to Golovkin. And they know Charlo can do something similar. Or they know Jacobs can capitalize and do better in the rematch. And they want to see the fight. They identify those two guys as the most physically talented guys in the division. You know? And, and that's it. When you see Charlo box, you know he got the skills. You want to obviously see him fight. Uh, a dude like Golovkin to, you know, get his caliber right. See what type of caliber fighter he is. I'm talking about Danny Jacobs, a dude that most people felt that beat J uh, Golovkin. People want to see him get his shot again, obviously. But people, like I said yesterday in the live video, I believe that Golovkin should get Billy Joe Saunders to become undisputed and lock in his legacy as a Hall of Famer, you know. Um, but if Canelo wants to cut that off, promise Billy Joe Saunders a fight. You know, right, Billy Joe Saunders, I'll give you a fight May. Um, I'm more beatable than Golovkin for your style. Okay, you could take a tune-up in December or something like that. Then we could do it in May. He could say that. But other than that, what's a big pay-per-view fight for Canelo to have um, right now? You know, none other than Golovkin. Um, I don't. Uh, he could fight Danny Jacobs. Maybe that'll sell, but he don't want to do that. He don't want to fight Charlo or Danny Jacobs. I'm trying to tell you, he's going to run from those guys. And I said in my live video, I hope Golovkin you know, waits out the rematch or fights Billy Joe Saunders, rematches Canelo, moves up or retires and leaves Canelo for dead. Because once those guys from 154 move up, Andrade, Lara, you know, some of the other, you know, uh, usual suspects, potentially Erickson Lubin in a few years or four or five years, um, Jamil Charlo, a lot of those guys move up. They're going to make it tight to breathe for Canelo Alvarez in that division. That division is going to be on fire. You put in Alantez Fox, who's a 6'5 middleweight, they got potential. You put in a guy like uh, Robert Brand if he chooses to come back down. Um, Danny Jacobs, Jamal Charlo. You know, he ain't going to have nowhere to even turn or breathe. He's going to have to continue to fight the best. But Golden Boy will, you know, will find a way for him to um, squeeze out of that situation. Now, to talk about the immediate rematch, um, they want to have it in Dallas. 
And that's why you see Jerry World right there, AT&T Cowboy Stadium. Dallas, Texas, or right outside of Dallas, wherever the hell it is. Um, it's a marvel. Um, it's a big stadium. Has the biggest, you know, uh, uh, board in, uh, in in the United States, at least. And um, it's one of the biggest stadiums in the United States. Holds a lot of people. Um, definitely will be more affordable for fans than Vegas. Um, Pacquiao's fought there. Canelo's fought Lima Smith there. Um, but, and, you know, this is Golovkin people saying this is the number one choice. Said so they wouldn't mind going back to Vegas. They had to, but this is what they want to do. We'll go to Dallas. And I think Dallas was the number one choice for this fight, but with Conor McGregor and Mayweather hanging over the head, they would have secured that September 16th day at Las Vegas, and they would have did Dallas. McGregor and uh, Mayweather would have pushed them off that date because that's where the A-listers go in Vegas. Um, but um, I don't think they want to go to Dallas. Dallas. You know, you thought Vegas was bad. Um, historically, Mexicans have got, you know, a bunch of or abundance of gifts dating back to Chavez Sr. and Pernell Whitaker in the state of Texas. You know, Canelo Alvarez got a gift versus Austin Trout, well, at least a bad scorecard in, Austin Trout, in his favor, um, versus um, Austin Trout. So do they really want to go to Texas, even closer to the Mexican border, where they definitely going to be outnumbered? It won't be chance of Triple G. It'll be straight chance of Canelo Alvarez or even more people. I don't think they really want to do that, in my opinion. Um... You know, they don't want to do that. You know, they 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 stupid enough to think they're going to go to Texas to get a decision. You know, you couldn't even get a decision in Texas. I mean, in, in Las Vegas. Then they really going to be uh, drowning in their own tears in uh, Dallas. You know, and if it's at Dallas, that's a good place to go. It's nice and cheap. Looked it up on Travelocity. That's a real possibility for some of you guys to go down there and see one of the uh, mega fight, I guess. Will the second fight be is just as big as the first if it's promoted and marketed right? But for some reason, it left a hole in some people's stomach to, that still left to be fulfilled. People expected blood. People expected bruises. People expected knockdowns. People expect, expected hellacious body shots. People expected a, 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 a war. You know, uh, they wanted they wanted they wanted somebody damn near to die in the ring. They wanted a a flat line in the ring knockout. But that fight didn't deliver that. And most people put that on, on, on Canelo Alvarez. Because he moved and boxed. You got to put it on Triple G. Everybody else who tried to move and box on Triple G, he got him a body there. But like I said, there's different levels to this. And um, hopefully they're not dumb enough to have a rematch in Texas. That's the main gist of what I'm saying. That's one of the dumbest things that K2 and Triple G can do. You know, and, and they should try to bring this fight east. I understand that they the B-side. But Canelo have never fought a prevalent or relevant fight on the East Coast. You know, they should try to do Madison Square Garden, you know, um, or somewhere on the East Coast with a nice venue. Uh, I understand there's more Puerto Ricans over there. There's probably more Triple G fans on the East Coast. But for me, it makes sense. You know, uh, why not? You know, this guy hasn't broke any ground over there. You know, he hasn't broke any ground anywhere but on the Southwest or that West side of, of the United States. Why not take it to Madison Square Garden or the Brooklyn Barclay Center? Canelo needs that exposure in New York City, and that's one of the reasons why he's not a, the a biggest star in the United States. I want to see it in, on the East Coast, uh, Barclays and MSG. Let me know what y'all think. We're going to.